Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining today's session. My name is Kent Tada, and I'm the co-chair of Kubernetes Japan. Today, I'll be discussing the state of eBPF in Japan and the eBPF Japan community I launched. To kick, to kick things off, I'd like to share the overview of eBPF superpowers. For those unfamiliar, eBPF stands for Extended Bucket, 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 Bucket Filter. It allows us to safely and efficiently run sandbox programs in the Linux kernel without changing the kernel. Currently, there are a lot of eBPF-related projects all over the world. Actually, uh, some CNCF projects have applied eBPF. The capability of eBPF opens up a lot of possibilities from networking, observability, tracing and monitoring to security enhancements. One of the recent advancements in eBPF is for scheduler. This feature allows you to create your own scheduler without changing kernel source code. This could be useful for customizing and optimizing system performance based on your specific workloads. However, eBPF is not without its challenges. Security is a major concern, and we also need to consider performance trade-offs in some cases. And when you run two eBPF programs in one host, which is prioritized, so there are a lot of challenges, but it is, it is difficult for many companies to adapt some expert talents. <clears throat> okay, I want to share one challenge example. One particular challenge is using EPROP in a container environment. The path of the target program is changed by the amount of namespaces. So when you want to develop a tool using EPROB for your container environment, you need to care about the difference between container and host environment. It means that the developer of eBPF tools need to understand the EPROB and the mechanism and the amount of namespace and the container and so on. Are you getting tired now? I think so. Now, I want to share a picture of my younger daughter. One day, we went to the park to catch a dragonfly, but she said, I want to wear a dress, and I want to bring a suitcase. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe she didn't fully really understand catching insects. After all, we didn't catch any dragonflies, so we went to the toy store to buy toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tools only work when used correctly. Uh, it is the same story as operating in EPF correctly. This is why uh, we've established the Jap EPF Japan community. Today, I'd like to share our community. To accelerate introducing EPF in the production systems in Japan, we've established this community. Our mission is to share operational knowledge of eBPF across various industries like automotive, telecom, and so on to accelerate to its introduction to production systems, disseminate patterns and best practice for developing eBPF programs. And finally, I'd like to increase contributors, increase contributions to eBPF related open source software from Japan. At our first event, we have shared use cases of eBPF in the automotive, telecom, and gaming industries. And this is an amazing event. Toyota shared the use case in vehicle systems in eBPF. And there are a lot of use cases in this meetup. And we are now planning our next event. We hope to see more participants from various different sectors. 
In addition to that, uh, we have started investigating K-probe and U-probe hook points in widely used open source software. The goal is for application developers take, make, take, to make it easier to use eBPF. As activi our activities, at first, gather information about user-space functions for your probes. Some tools uh, adapt USDT, but uh, however, mm, all tools uh, mm, do not support it. And investigate the hook point of application-related kernel functions for K-probe. For example, failed, fi failed file name lookup in user space increased the number of negative entry caches. Uh, we also need to know mm, the kernel behavior in user program is <coughs> change the kernel behavior. And finally, encourage the adop adop adoption of BTF for user space programs. Uh, BTF is useful to operate tools among different versions. So we need to adapt it for uh, not only kernel, but user space problems. OK. Our journey with the EBPF meetup is just beginning. And there are a lot of obstacles. So we need help from experts from various industries. Please join us and please help us. Thank you. <laughs>